Reusable shopping bags are pretty popular. You can pick them up in just about any store these days, but no matter where you buy these bags, how you use them could have a big impact on your health. Now, I put some of these bags to the test, and what I found may change some habits. Like this one I, that I picked up in Pennsylvania, I love. Annie Vets uses her green shopping bags for just about everything. My daughter uses one for a gym bag. We use them when we go to the beach. These once trendy bags, designed with the environmentally conscious in mind, are now commonplace in shopping carts. But not so fast, says infection preventionist Marty Luzinas. Just because it's a reusable bag doesn't mean it's a self-cleaning bag. As a busy mom, what's really inside my shopping bag is not exactly what's at the top of my list every day. But I decided to put my own bags to the test to see if there was anything inside that could be making my family sick. Luzinas took my bags to the lab at Albany Memorial Hospital, swabbing samples from the three most common types of reusable bags, all cloth, all vinyl and a combination of vinyl outside with a fabric lining inside. We'll get back to my bags soon, but what is commonly found in green bags? Probably a zoo of things. Salmonella and E. coli, even the norovirus, have been detected on reusable shopping bags. Many times these bacteria are found on raw poultry and meat that may not be properly wrapped in the grocery store. But fruits and vegetables can carry bacteria as well. And what sticks to your bags when you're in the checkout line at the store can quickly contaminate your car and home. And think about where you put your bag when you come home. You're taking it, you're putting it on your kitchen counter, and emptying it from there. If something has leaked through, you're contaminating your counter. Back in the lab, the tests on my bag showed some pretty disgusting results. It almost looks like fur or something growing on the plates. All three bags testing positive for bacteria. We have that one colony of bacillus, the hemolytic one. It looks like maybe a couple colonies of strep and maybe a staph. When you look at, you know, the 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 a number of colonies we have there, that is a pretty heavily contaminated bag. So what can you do to keep you and your family healthy? So you really have to be conscious of what kind of bag you're using and how you're using it and how you're cleaning it. Also stick to plastic for your meats and make sure your fruits and vegetables go in the plastic bags provided in the produce section before they go in your bag. And don't store your reusable bags in the trunk of your car. The trunk is one big incubator. Even though Ann says she regularly washes her bags, this one I usually wash by hand if I'm on, when I need to wash it. She's well aware that being smart about where and how you use them is important. So no need to throw away your green bags, but use them smarter. For tips on how to do that and more information on how to care for your bags and which bags are the easiest to clean, go to our website. In the studio, I'm Nicole Lally for the News Center on Fox 23.